Jazzy with the full size coffee at like 7 p.m. Classic. I have no clue what I'm looking at. Yeah, it looks like you're gonna have to... These come out. These come out, so you're, it looks like this is what holds the bearing in, in here. Or is that like a cap? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so when you pull this out, unbolt this, all this should pull out and then you should be able to get the meatball out. And then I just take this whole thing and put it in there. Yeah. Well, as long as you have, um, uh, you can see that with the little welds. This thing. is the same? The ring gear? Would, well, not as the one that's in there, unless this Dude, is this a is welded so bad. Yeah, who did that? I did. You did that? Yeah. I mean, it worked. It right? hasn't broken. Yeah. Maybe I'll put a plate in there. <laughs> but yeah, I mean. Yeah, if you pull this apart and keep everything like this shit over there, this shit over here, you should be fine. Yeah. Cause all, you said all you're swapping is a carrier, right? Yeah. Do you think the carrier is the same between the dips? We're gonna have to take these out and see. It should be, unless there's like a different bolt pattern. Like if it's- Could be different. The fact that it uses different stubs is like a little bit concerning, right? Yeah. Maybe we should uh, actually look, see how different they are. How long did you drive on that? How many miles on that like that? Maybe 2,000. Oh, dude, that thing's not gonna break then. I, I mean, wouldn't I even worry about the welding part. I mean, if it's out, I might as well just throw it on a bench and fucking. I guess, yeah, if you want. Put wanna... a little plate in there. True, if you want to clean it up. This thing's super hot. It is really It's like hot. radiating, like. That is pretty bad. It's really neat, thermal mass. Well, I have a buffer that I got a while ago and I've yet to try it out. So I might just practice on the trunk a little bit. Be careful and maybe I'll uh, take off the little swirls in it. Maybe I'll burn the clear coat and I'll have a trash trunk, I don't know. It's crazy how you guys have like an odd, you and Damien, dude. Cause to me, this car looks perfectly clean, perfectly spotless. I like, how could this get, any better I feel like see not oh you got this out here how well, often these conditions really apply dude it's sunny out dude I guess yeah oh wow well, Wait, yeah this was really bad here the bumper I see why you're concerned up close yeah fair at all because then you're gonna fucking wipe your sensor out. Just like try getting it in like on a spot like that. But you have to hit like, you have to do it like this. I don't wanna fuck the bearing up though. No you should be fine that way. Is it moving at all? Not yet.
Yeah, that's why it keeps breaking. It's a small, Damn. small case, which means small axles, which means I'm fucked. You driving a PA, dude? God damn it. Driving a PA. <sighs> yeah, my own. Let's rally out tonight, right now, in Ryan Bell's legacy. Yeah, right. God damn it. He said it's only four and a half hours away. Yeah, you'll be back by fucking two. Yeah. <laughs> Get to bed by Do you three. Think that the, <laughs> so the, the, the gears aren't, wouldn't work either then? It must not if the whole thing's completely different. It's smaller. Yeah, the meatball might be a different size. Um, yeah. So I can't take these gears out and put it in that? Now I'm gonna say no. Yeah. I don't think you can. Well, I gotta put that one back together. Everything's good in there, so. I'm surprised this thing fucking was able to drift. And not break anything. I think it was the bottle caps, dude. The bottle caps no, was I the recipe. I dressed it on these, too. Yeah, but they were I already, like, shot when you used them. I think you, when you were doing your burnout, you did one fine, and then you stopped, and then you I put, No, I put it into second, and then, yeah. Oh, yeah, when you put First it into second, time. that's when it fucking... Yeah, it's this side again, you know what I mean? It's like they don't even break fully. They just strip a little bit. Like, you know what I mean? Like the joint inside there just fucking. Yeah. It kind of looks like the spinner thing. It's like one of those. Well, it's like a bunch of height joints. So like... The Hypermile Focus Saga continues here. We have some goodies for it. Got some motor mounts. A little fuel filter. This thing and this thing so yeah um, this is I feel like important I feel like it's probably not been done just because it um, it's a pretty neglected vehicle if I'm being honest but yeah AJ's gonna whip this up and the ZX3 Focus Hyper Mile Build Pursuit to 42 MPG roughly something like that that's the goal between 40 and 45 is the window. 45, I'm shitting. 40, I'm like, oh, that's expected. The side's more like slow. I think that side's fucking. Yeah, maybe try it, maybe do it to that side too, and then we'll try the bounce test again. Jazzy took all the preload out of the spring and. Two and a half inches. Wow. That's like that. Just Jeez. fucking. I'm minutes. surprised it still has decent fitment too. It doesn't look monstrous up or anything. No, it was like it might have been like an inch lower before or something. Wow. Nice. Maybe I can get a fatter tire now. <laughs> um, we kind of need the jack. Where's the old raggedy one? Oh, uh, right there. Give me that 19 right there on the top. AJ's making super quick work of this, jeez. No wonder the dealerships like polish you off, but then you quit because you hate it. Yeah, when she goes. Where's the new one? On the chair right behind the stove. Oh yeah. Wow. Dude, that had like an inch of play on the other one. This thing's about to be the ultimate highway MPG. 
I think this might beat the Accord just because it like maybe the shape and size of it. The Accord's kind of a long sedan. Probably. I'm about to tape the edges, like even though that's a myth and I think it's rice. This definitely could be taped. Tape this off with painter's tape. Give me good aerodynamics. Looks all weird. Yeah. So that's the final ride height in the front, you're thinking? Maybe a slightly bigger front tire? Yeah. I wish... Do you know if these things come out of here? Um, I think on some of them they do, yeah, but I'm not sure. I don't want you to break it because of I told you to do something dumb. Yeah, these are Megan's. That one? Yeah. The brand new one is these four in this middle one, and then it just like plops on there, I guess. I'm not sure how it works. Oh, wow. Look at it from that perspective. Jesus. Oh, yeah, I think we're over there. I don't think I I feel like so far the Focus has pretty easy motor mount swap. Yeah, get the fucking. AJ busted one of these on the fuel filter. So now, oh, AJ's kicking his own car. We gotta go to AutoZone and get one of these clips right here. Motor mounts, new fuel filter. Wow, no dash vibration. Oh my God, it feels so good now. Oh wow. This thing has 243,830 miles, 243,830. I think, I don't remember what exactly I got or how many miles this had when I first got it. I'm gonna have to look back on video, but maybe it was like 230 something maybe. So I think I put at least, at least 10K on this thing, I'd like to think. So thing runs mint now. Like it feels way more responsive. Yeah, ZX3 Hypermile build, success so far. We'll see though, the ultimate test now is to actually do a trip from here to Bangor, Maine and calculate the MPGs on that trip. I'm really hoping to beat at least 40. I wanna see at least 40. Thank you for watching today's video, guys. Be sure to check out the links in the description. We got some t-shirts for sale, Scran tees, Gans tees, in the description, like I said, check out the Facebook, check out the YouTube, wherever you're from. Thank you guys again. We'll see you next time.